Welcome Scorpio. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the next two weeks, okay, and what it is that you need to work on. We'll be using the Mystical Healing Reading Cards and the Muse Tarot. And at the end, we will be pulling three of the Shadow Healing Cards, which are really good. So make sure you stick around for those. Okay, so let's just have a look here for you Scorpio. Just give them a quick shuffle, see if anything jumps out. Almost. Nope. One more shuffle, I'm hearing. One more shuffle. Here we go. Carry on. Okay, so let's start with this card here. Ennoble your soul. Interesting. I have never had this card come out before. It feels like there seems to be some sort of balance. And um, I, I feel like there are, it's like you need to be looking at your shadow self and shedding some light on that Scorpio. Um, it's really interesting because we have the Ace of Hearts up here. Okay, and um, so this could, but we have the Ten of Diamonds down there as well. Is it the Ten? Oh, I don't know. Can't really see the number. But anyhow, anyhow. Um, oh, what I'm getting from this is a real feeling of quiet, um, feeling quite hurt. Feeling very hurt about something. What's going on here, Scorpio? Two cards, please, for a noble your soul. I'm getting, yeah, see, I'm getting lots of emotions from this. Three of, um, what is it? Three of voices, okay, and the nine of voices. Yeah, you've been absolutely crushed about something. There's something that is really upset you. Um, yeah, heartbreak, man, big time. And it's sort of like you lie, um, lay in the bed at night crying. You are putting on, you are going out, you are putting on this mask of being fine and dandy to everyone else and maybe not even being fine and dandy. Actually, I feel like it's potentially the case, Scorpio, that you're actually finding it very difficult to pretend right now. Um, but when you get home, you are there on your own, bawling your eyes out with no support. And it's really important for you to, to get some support. Okay, um, I feel like... I feel like you're just waiting for it to pass, but the thing is it will pass a lot quicker and a lot easier if you allow other people to come in and help you, okay? Um, because you also deserve that support and you deserve for people to come in and have your back and be with you. It could very well be for some of you, Scorpio, that you feel like you can't actually trust anybody and that's why you're sort of like trying to do this alone, but I do want to say that there's this need for you to honour yourself uh, because I don't feel like you do that. I feel as though you, you, you sort of keep yourself hidden in a sense. And yet you feel incredibly vulnerable and maybe that's why you keep yourself hidden, you know. Reverse disassociation. There is some sort of door for you to walk through. And um, it's sort of like you, 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 
the, the door is there and you have the key, but you go to put the key in the door to unlock it and it's like this hit and miss type of thing. Um, there's, it's, it's sort of like Scorpio, there's two parts of yourself. Um, and, and I feel like this with this card as well, there's two parts of yourself and they're not in alignment. They're not in alignment. Um, and I just wonder for some of you if this is maybe a coping mechanism. Um, but oh, I don't know. It's sort of like nothing seems real. There's nothing that seems real right now. So I wonder if something has happened for you, Scorpio, that has put you into a bit of a shock right now. Tell me more about reverse disassociation for Scorpio, please. Reverse disassociation. It's sort of like you're stepping out of your body in order not to feel the feelings that need to be felt here, Scorpio. And um, and it's not it's not actually helping you to progress in your life, okay? And it's sort of like you've done that and now you don't know how to step back in. Or you just simply don't want to. Tell me more about reverse disassociation for Scorpio, please. We've got the Queen of Inspiration coming up here. And the Ten of Materials. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. Um, <sighs> part of me feels like yeah, I, I feel as though Scorpio, there's been a disconnect with what it is that you love. Some kind of um, separation from something that you love. So whether that is a relationship or a passion um, that you have, there's, there's a disconnection here, okay? And I actually feel like that disconnection has happened because of other people, okay? and not necessarily through your choosing and that's why it's sort of really hard to to get this alignment back because you didn't cause this disassociation you didn't cause this um this separation here and with the queen of inspiration here that i feel like this is about you needing to embrace this energy of the Queen of Inspiration, okay, um, doesn't matter about gender, put that out the window, all right, because it's the energy that matters here, Scorpio, and so really going back to the roots of this inspiration, this passion, um, and, and feeling that again, feeling that in your heart, okay, and for some of you, I feel like it's like, oh, I don't want to feel that because it brings back all these things that, you know, um, or it may feel like it triggers the pain of having that disconnection from that. But the fact of the matter is within, you know, this is this is such a pure and natural passion. Um, being love, and I'm talking about love here in whatever form it is for, the love is who you truly are as a being here on this earth, okay? So this is why it's important to tap back into that because when you do that, you bring forth the truth of you, Scorpio, okay? And we've got the Ten of Materials here as well, okay? And this is the most, this is going to help you to connect to the most amazing um It could be a relationship, it could be work, it could be a hobby, it could be anything along these lines. It's going to connect you to your people, 
okay it's going to bring in this because if you have a look at this card here and then you see oh, sorry this one here you see the energy of this person tuning in she's making the connection here okay she's getting everything into alignment all right you see these um lines or these chords i want to say it's connecting back in here scorpio which would bring you to the ten of inspiration and look at all these people gathered around this rose bush the fact of the matter is scorpio that the people that have contributed to this disassociation um, are not the people who will be standing around this massive, not just a rose bush, right? A rose tree. Like, look how huge that is. And um, I sort of feel like, in a sense, this disconnection and this disassociation is necessary for you to get to this because it was there there was this wrong path the, I don't want to say wrong path because there are lessons that you have learned okay um but it wasn't leading you to this okay it has only led you to this right and um and this is the path that you want to be on here Scorpio okay so let's have a look here for you, Scorpio. And I know that, that it can also be hard when you um, are in the mode, in this mode, and feeling absolutely distraught and betrayed. Um, <clears throat> I know it's difficult uh, to do that, but I tell you, when you start really going within, rather than focusing on what has happened on the outside, go within and feel what is on the inside, okay, feel the truth of who you are, and boy, oh boy, that was going to make a huge difference for you. Okay, Scorpio, we have focus on higher truths. I love this. Focus on higher truths, and in every single card here, there is still this line of... Um, of bringing these two things together, okay, um, and, and not bringing these two things together, it's about bringing the truth into existence, and the truth is about who you are, Scorpio, okay, I'm drawn actually to this person here with his finger up to his lip, like, shh, don't tell anyone, I feel like this is something that you will work on in private, okay? And yes, it will take some time. This is you removing the mask, okay? And maybe the mask was not helping you to see things clearly, not helping you to see things as they truly were, okay? So in that regard, I feel as though you're silently watching, silently watching and things are being revealed to you and this is what is you know causing this this pain and and I want to say for some of you devastation here you know like just absolutely like I can't believe this has happened you know because it's sort of like there was this big dream and it feels like it's been taken away um but it's still there for you it's just not necessarily with the ones that you thought it would be okay so focus on higher truths for scorpio please tell me more about focus on higher truths for scorpio we've got the knight of voices and we've got the six of materials here okay You see, these cards here, they're so, that the feeling I, that I'm getting from them is this sort of uplifting, these, this uplifting of you. Uh, let me show you. I get a bit carried away sometimes, Scorpio. This night of voices here is like you um, searching, I feel like. This is you looking, rising above and really looking at things for how they truly are okay and I feel like that 
whatever has happened for you, Scorpio, in the future, it's got, it, it, it will have, if nothing else, it will have taught you to suss things out a little bit more, to take that time to really suss things out, maybe suss people out, okay, check it out, see, really tapping into this intuition and seeing what goes on, and this guy doing this shushing here, this could be you shushing your mind and feeling it out, okay, because I do feel like there has been people in your life who, um, for whatever reason, there's been this misconception as to who they are and whether it's that they put that forward to you to make out that they were a person that they truly aren't and you've found out that then they don't have your back um, or that there were signs that you didn't see and it could very well be a mixture of both, okay? Um, yeah, I feel as though this... This is leading you down this path of finding your match, okay? It really is. Um, and, and I love that this has come up here because I feel like these are coming from this massive rose tree here, right? And um, with these people here, and, you know, that can take a bit to find. You know, it can take time. And, and it's sort of like what happens is along the journey, you sieve people out. Yeah, you sift them out and work out who's going to continue on the next leg of the journey with you and who won't, okay? And um, yeah, I feel like if this is where it is important for you to really be tuning in to what it is you're feeling when you are having new people introduced into your life, okay? Because you might even have a feeling about them and it doesn't quite make sense because they seem really lovely. But something inside of you is just going, oh, be careful of them. And that's the thing you need to listen to, okay? Um, because, yeah, that's, that internal guidance system is there for a reason. So be aware of that, Scorpio, okay? I don't like the way that fell out. So if it's meant to come out, it will. Okay, so next card for Scorpio, please. One more shuffle. Here it is. Not the same card, but here's a card. Become more objective. Yes, 100%. Be more objective. Be discerning. Okay, um... Yeah, because on the one hand, you can have people who are snakes, and on the other hand, you can have people who are absolute angels, okay? And, or at least appear to be angels, okay? Um, I, I, I kind of feel like the most important thing for you right now, Scorpio, because, okay, let me start again, sorry. Um, I feel like... Some of you are looking on the outside for people to have your back. Understandable. We all want people to have our back, right? Um, however, Scorpio, I feel like that needs to begin with you. You, first and foremost, need to have your back, okay? And, and so by becoming more objective about things is you having your back. Okay, when you listen to that internal guidance system and that that intuition that tells you, oh, that person, no, 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 watch them, be careful of them, um, and you listen to that, that is you having your back, okay? When you ignore that, that is you um, deceiving yourself in a sense, you know? So, yeah, and that doesn't mean you're bad, okay? That doesn't mean you're stupid. It just means that you're learning. It's all it is. This whole journey of this life is about learning. Okay. And um, we now have the five of inspiration here. And if you notice all these women here in this card, they all have mirrors. But none of them are actually looking into the mirrors here. 
uh, because they are afraid of what they'll see. Okay, and um, it's important for you to look in the mirror and be truly honest with yourself about what's inside of you. Don't look in the mirror, Scorpio, and beat yourself up. That's not what it's about. It's just about being honest with yourself, okay? And looking at the areas in your life that you don't have your back. Looking at how you can better do that. You know, you can better do that. You can do that better, okay? Um, because, yeah, this is super important. Very important. Especially in relationships, you know? particularly in relationships, because when you really know yourself, Scorpio, and know what it is that you're bringing to the table, sorry, Scorpio, and I'm talking about any sort of relationships, be it friendships, romantic relationships, family relationships, whatever, work relationships, okay? Um, when you really know what it is that you're bringing to the table, um, there is no doubt then about when someone maybe crosses a boundary or disrespects um, what it is that you've placed down because you know yourself well enough to know what you're cool with and what you're not okay with okay so this is very important for you to discover okay um, we've also got the star here oh I really love this the star this is you you know having this faith and this hope in yourself you bringing yourself to this okay um and and i feel as though once you come to look in the mirror here and understand your true value you're going to get excited because you know that now you'll be able to absolutely repel the ones that don't match that and what you're going to attract is your people okay there won't be any fear of, oh, well, is this person right for me? Uh, what, what, what if it's the same as the last time? You know, this isn't really about you needing to take the time to decipher who you are and, and what it is that you truly deserve. And this is, this is definitely a journey, you know. It's not done in a night or a week, you know. Um, and, and honesty is the first thing, honesty with yourself, yeah, so this is about you standing up from behind that door, wiping those tears and going, I've got this, I've got you, you know, and um, that's not to suppress anything or anything along those lines, it's just about you really, truly, um, Owning, owning yourself, okay? Owning the truth of who you are, okay? Stop breaking agreements. Stop breaking agreements with yourself, okay? Because this is interesting. This has come up for a few people here and every single time it comes up, I get that you will sort of be in a situation and then, you know, there's this, this deal that you make with yourself. Well, if this happens, that happens, or, you know, something or other happens, then I'm out of here. And then this happens and you're like, oh, but, you know, I suppose that person was, you know, a bit upset or they've been through this or they've been through that. So, you know, and you don't remove yourself. And then... The next thing happens, and you're like, oh, I kind of understand where they're coming from. And so what's happening is you're not making the, you know, you're not keeping the agreement that you've made with yourself. This is about you setting boundaries and being very clear that if you come over those boundaries, that's it. You know, I'm not tolerating anything, you know, and, and when you're clear, Scorpio, about what those boundaries are for you, there's not going to be any question when someone's walking over those boundaries, okay? Um, yeah, 
Okay, so tell me more about stop breaking agreements for Scorpio, please. We've got the Knight of Inspiration. And we've got the Lovers. This other card here, look at this. Look at the position I'm in. And I feel like this is actually relevant to you. It feels like there's a really awkward situation. <laughs> right and um yeah so you know this yeah look that's all I can say about that I want to get move on now to the night of inspiration and look at this I I think this is perfect this is perfect for this situation here okay um this horse here okay first thing I got when I saw this was seeing the fireworks and thinking that the fireworks are wonderful and beautiful, but the fact of the matter is the fireworks can also be scary and they can set you on fire, right? Um, I kind of wonder if for some of you there's this expectation when it, it comes to a relationship that there will be fireworks. You want the fireworks, right? But be aware that the fireworks are not always a representation of this being that person for you. Okay, it could be a very subtle meet. It could be, you know, something that begins as just a very friendly exchange. Okay, so it is changing that point of view on what that looks like for you, Scorpio. Okay, because um, that actually is something that... Um, <clears throat> We can be misled by it. It's all in the movies. It's everywhere you see. You know, oh my gosh, people meet and they... It's such a misleading way to actually start something solid with someone. You know, and often, more often than not, those sorts of relationships end in disaster. End in us getting burned. Okay? Um... So just be mindful of that, and even in friendships, if you meet with someone you really, you know, if you meet someone you click with immediately, that's cool, you know, but just be aware you don't yet know who that person is, okay? And when people do show you who they are, believe them, okay? Okay, so we also have unlock your heart, okay? So this is something that you can be working on, Unlock your heart because you have closed it off because of the hurt that has been caused in the past, okay? Jump on that horse and be ready to ride again. You don't have to move anywhere. You don't have to go on the wear. Uh, go on a wear. Go anywhere. Just hop on the horse again, okay? This is about you unlocking your heart so that you, yourself, can start to learn to love yourself, okay? Because if you've... If you've decided to close your heart off to particular people, you're closing your heart off to everybody. Okay? It doesn't mean that when you unlock your heart, you allow those people back in to come and mush it up again like they had before, to throw it on the floor and jump on it like they did. Okay? That doesn't mean that at all. Scorpio, this person is on this horse and um, they are in solitude here. They are doing this. They are learning to ride the horse again, but they're doing it with themselves. Okay? So this is where you need to really start doing this work on learning to love yourself. Okay? It sounds so cliche, but boy, oh boy, it's the most important relationship you will ever have, Scorpio. So if there's someone outside of you speaking to you the way you do in your mind, would you put up with it? Hopefully not. And probably not. So be aware of this, Scorpio. Okay? Start with one thing at a time. Whether it's eating, whether it's sleeping, whether it's, you know, whatever you are doing. Um, looking at how you treat your body um, and seeing that all the ways that maybe you disrespect your own self. Okay? Sorry, I'm going to start that shuffle again because there was... Okay, we've got the Muse of Materials here. Wonderful. And we've got 
the six of emotions. Oh, I love this. Yes, yes, yes. This is you heading towards something absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right? Um, because you see these two here. Um, who they like they like guarding the bridge, right? And the only way for them to let you through and across the bridge is for you to be in a particular state, okay? And they know. They don't need to ask you. They don't need to test you. They know because you're a match for their vibration, okay? And this is the thing, okay? What vibration are you putting out there, okay? Um, with the six of emotions here, Scorpio, this is you being very um, conscious of what it is you're choosing, okay? What are you choosing to put out there? <sighs> very interesting because I actually feel like this person has got the mirror here. This one up here, she's got the mirror and she's like, okay, I'm claiming the mirror, but she's still not looking in the mirror. Okay, and still trying to go on a journey without truly looking in the mirror and wondering why these emotions are still here. Okay, so this is crucial for you to begin working through. Look at the cycles in your life that had, have happened and see these common things within you that you are able to work on in a loving way. I can't stress that enough, Scorpio, because I know you can be really hard on yourself. Okay, so we're going to get three cards from Shadow Healing now. We've had that one. We've got another one flip over here. Okay, and two cards. We've got the first one here is Shock. Second one here is Mirage. Mirage. And third one for Scorpio, please. There we go. What's flipped over here? Here we go. Dumbfounded. Okay. Let's have a look at these, Scorpio. Shock. <sighs> Being alarmed at what is happening is a healthy response for your own self-preservation. You need to stay alert and watch for further signs so that you can protect yourself. 100%. I agree. Okay, so Mirage. Being distracted and tired only makes the way ahead seem insurmountable. Given time to rest and reassess the direction you need to take will become clearer. Yep, be patient with yourself, you know. Like I said before, it's not going to happen overnight. Okay, so um, yep, being really patient with yourself here, Scorpio. Okay, so dumbfounded is the last card. Sometimes there are no words for things that happen. And the best you can do is shake your head, have a giggle, and move straight past it. Yeah, this is true too. You know, instead of trying to work it out in your mind, there is no working it out sometimes. You know, when you're shocked about something, trying to figure it out so it's not, not so shocking, Sometimes it's just not that simple to figure out. So it's just a matter of going, well, I have no idea, but I'm going to do what I need to do to proceed forward. Okay, Scorpio, I hope that helps you. And please be gentle with yourself because you deserve that more than anybody. Okay, Scorpio, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.